Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Python documentation generator Sphinx in Windows. You can use it in other operating system too. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Let's jump on it. Type in pip install dash u Sphinx to install Sphinx. Clear your terminal and type in the type in the following command now: Sphinx dot quick start uh, Sphinx dash quick start. It will ask you some question. By default, it's set to no or yes, but it's up to you what you want. Project the name. I'll say uh, YouTube. Author name, I can type in LP with Ramat and release version of project is 1.0.0. English is the default language, but you can change it to another language. Uh, for example, to Norwegian, you can type in NU. So I go to with English. So if you want to auto generate document, you have to say yes, otherwise, you can press enter. By default, is no. Uh, say yes, 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 or no, whatever you want. Uh, here, you say you have to say yes to create a make file, but it is also set to yes by default. If you are in Windows, you have to say you have to say yes. If you are not in Windows, you can skip that by saying no to that. We have just created some uh, directories and some files by this command. So as you can see, we have this uh, without this actually, not source. Source is uh, where I have my coding. So now we have to modify something inside this too. Just open these two files in your code editor so, and modify that. Go to line 15 to 17 in uh, conf.py and, and comment that. Uh, also add your path dot append. Wait, I think I just missed type something. Yes. Uh, append my code is inside source I just type source uh, here you can type in your uh, project uh, version document your document version so here I can show you how you can uh, Sphinx add some extension if you want to use some other extension so you can just add here so uh, we can use Napoleon uh, and that's it in uh, conf.py now we go to our RST file you can type in modulus or you can be more specific to say uh, docs uh, dash uh, cap since uh, my file python file is cap so I just name it cap uh, and uh, I don't have docs uh, directory but I have to create it so I just uh, say mkd or mkd make directory docs uh, and now you can type the following command to create our uh, HTML file. So API Sphinx Sphinx uh, API doc dash o docs from source.
uh, we have created this two file in docs inside docs directory so now we can just say make html out of this so it is just created our html as you can see we have one uh, warning error just uh, skip that so go to your uh, dash uh, to your underscore boil slash HTML directory inside this di inside HTML directory you have indexed HTML just type in index.html open that in your browser and you see this is your HTML file so here you can see class, function, parameters, and what they do. So if you click on source, you can see the code and the commands. This is the HTML document you just created. But as you can see, the design is not very good. I can show you how you can uh, modify this. Uh, so just go back to your uh, directory and type in pip install uh, install sphinx rtd underscore rtd underscore so after that you have just uh, you're gonna clear your terminal and go to your config.py where in line 87 or uh, where you find alabaster you just change alabaster to uh, sphinx underscore rtd underscore then you just install this package now so and go to your terminal and make uh, make clean the html uh, so now you can create new html out of this Just go to your browser and refresh your page and boom you see a whole lot different here so here's what you can see here's much better uh, so you can type click on source so you see this uh, document here and you can also change the icon here you can put your project icon you can uh, do a lot with these uh, sphinx uh, python generate documentation so thank you thank you for your watching